to you. That's a simple case of cellulitis right there. Uh, actually, Dr. Cox, I was watching TV last night, and they had this special on flesh-eating bacteria. Necrotizing fasciitis, yes. Yeah, I, I think they called it flesh-eating bacteria to sound more flashy, you know, hook in all the idiots. Apparently it worked. Anywho, point being, uh, they said it was very easy to confuse uh, cellulitis with chompers. Chompers was the, the animated flesh-eating bacteria that, that narrated the special. Look, Brittany, recently I made the potentially fatal mistake of getting back together with my ex-wife, who, angel that she is, is carrying the spawn of another man's seed. So forgive me if I sound a tad irritable when I tell you I don't care what piece of irrelevant dribble you picked off TV while you were snuggled up in your holly hobby pea chase. Come on, trust yourself. I think you're wrong. Really? Well, I think you're... Brilliant! Necrotizing fasciitis. That's a one in a million diagnosis, son. One in a million. Ah, nothing, sir. Anyone could have made that call. And yet, they didn't. The student becomes the teacher, eh, Perry? <laughs> Warms my heart. Thank you, sir. I don't care about you, son. I'm trying to do something here. No, I'm guessing this is just about the greatest moment of your life, huh, there, Newby? Holy crap, it's David Copperfield. Well, definitely top two. What's that I see in your ear? Fazow. Cool, a coin. If you want it. Yeah, you take it. <laughs> oh, magic! No, top three, top three. Oh, God.